more than I do. And, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I swore a lot. Um, the uh, but yeah, so I was I was kind of happy that I got to hear uh, the Ultimate Fighter cursing intact. Yeah. <laughs> it's a delightful um, surprise. But yeah, back to uh, back to Star Trek. Back to Star Trek. Uh, good. So good movie. Yeah. Uh, Over ambitious. Yeah. Probably. Is there anything else you wanted to touch on uh, about the about the J.J. Abrams uh, reboots? Uh, yes. What do you, What do you think of the ships? I love the ship. I love the ships I, too. I didn't like the. Uh, the I gotta find the name of that ship. Hang on now. Oh, whose ship is it? Uh, Nero ship. The Narada. The Narada. Are you yeah. sure? I'm almost positive. Yeah, the Narada. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how I know it or what scene that my memory comes from in that, but that's what it's called. Okay, well, it's, uh, yeah, it is called the Narada, because yeah. um, it's, it's one of the, the songs in the soundtrack is Narada Burns. Oh, um, okay, yeah. And so I didn't like the Narada. I thought it was like, it it looked like an eldritch horror, like a Cthulhu type monster. But right. it's like it it's a it's a Romulan ship. They're supposed to look like birds of prey. Hence yeah. why they're called birds <laughs> of prey. <laughs> uh, and um, but I, I so I didn't like that ship, but I absolutely love the redesign of the Enterprise and all the uh, um, and all the Federation ships. Wait, I like the Peter Weller, um, the USS Vengeance. Yeah, the super monster thing. Yeah. yeah. So like, there's a scene. There's a scene in Nemesis where they where the where um, Shinzon ship decloaks in front of them and Worf's like well scanning them so they have primary and secondary shielding um, 26 photon torpedo launchers yeah. 36 disruptor barriers and then Picard's like she's a predator so there's a scene there's a, a ship great scene yeah <laughs> there's a ship like that in Into Darkness except it's a Federation ship and like Khan's like uh, dreadnought class three to- uh, 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 three, uh, two times the size three times the firepower he's faster stronger better than but, you can we get the people it's like a, it's like a Malkovich ship I'm bigger I'm battered. <laughs> can we can we get the people who design who designate Star Trek classes to start coming up with names for consoles? Can we get Intrepid, them to start coming... Galaxy Dreadnought? These are great names yeah. for consoles. Can we get them to start naming ships for the U.S. Navy? Because the U.S. Navy has absolutely terrible ship names. It's like <laughs> it's like. Sir, we're up against the USS Navy. Who, well, who are we fighting? Well, we're fighting Presidents 3 through 16. <laughs> we're fighting the USS Lincoln, the USS Jefferson, and the USS Benjamin Franklin. It's like, no, when you are fight, when you have a big aircraft carrier, you call the USS Vengeance or the USS Infinity or something like that. Like, yeah, something should, like cool. Yeah, they should do something. Yeah, yeah. A, a little more creative with the names. So that's on you, United States Navy. Change the names. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah. Not only do we talk about video games and movies here, we're also making political statements. Yeah, <laughs> we're uh, we're actually uh, contracted out by the U.S. Uh, by, by the United States military. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the um, but yeah. So Star Trek, go see it. Absolutely, go see uh, it. Redesign if you haven't the seen ships the first one for some strange reason. You know, you know what I liked about it, about the redesign of the ships? They got the guys who designed the iPods, and by design, I don't mean the software. I mean the look of the iPods and the iPhones. They got them in to design the ships. They did the bridges of the ships because the, you know how the bridges have that sleek kind of futuristic look. That's the same look that oh. goes into iPads and iPods. I and thought you meant. Like the actual ships, like the outline. No, no, of no. The ships. I was they, gonna say, like, it doesn't um, look like an iPod at all. <laughs> actually, here's an interesting fact: the guy who designed the original bridge of the uh, of the uh, the original USS Enterprise from the original series, he was later contracted to design bridges for command centers. Uh, and ships for the United States military because they love the setup of the bridge on the USS Enterprise so much that they wanted to replicate it in uh, in actual U.S. military installations. So a lot of installations and, and U.S. military ships, at least from the 60s and 70s, you'll go into, and their bridge is kind of similar to the Enterprise. I think that's awesome. You know what I want on a bridge? You know what I think the only improvement to be made on the Star Trek bridge is? Uh, we need more doors out of that thing. Yeah, there's one. There's like one door. There's one door. At least, and it's an automatic door. What if it breaks? Uh, I'm pretty sure they can like force it open but, or something because it's not that heavy. But, but like, come I, on. I, I know Two in, doors. in the doors. original in the original series there was one door off the bridge. In yeah. this redesign, there's one door in off the TNG, bridge. Except, except if it's no, there's three doors. There go you go to the captain's um, not his quarters, his, his the captain's ready room. Then there is the you go to the conference room, and then there's the turbo bridge, turbo lift. Uh, and I guess you yeah. can count teleporting off the bridge as, as something. Yeah, but. the door the door in the turbo lift has always confused me. I do like the, the Star Trek original series way a little bit better than that. Yeah. But I, I don't know, I leave and step immediately into an elevator. Yeah. Be a hallway and then step into the elevator. Uh, how much time have we got left? Uh, we have uh, about three minutes left. Okay, that's good. All right. 
so we've got plenty of time to, to clue up. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, let's do the email address thing again. Yeah. Uh, email address is theaperture at gmail.com, all lowercase except for the one three, which is in place of the first E in Aperture. And our uh, YouTube account is youtube.com slash theapertureshow. Uh, I'll be uploading the third episode probably tonight if I have any time while I'm studying. And uh, I, the fourth one, you know, th- this one, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll which you're listening this. to right now, will be uploaded like tomorrow night probably. Yeah. Uh, as soon as possible. As, as soon as I can, yeah. It just takes – the problem is it takes a long time. Yeah. Um, uh, eventually, we're going to have to get our upload times increased, I yeah. think, so we can upload just the full hour episode. Yeah. Because that would be, you know, far less of a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, Facebook and Twitter? Uh, yeah, so uh, our Facebook is uh, www.facebook.com slash The Aperture Show. Uh, uppercase T, uppercase A, lowercase S, no spaces. And our uh, Twitter page is www.twitter.com slash The Aperture Show, all lowercase, no spaces. All right, perfect. And yeah. um, uh, what, what's do you know what's next on the schedule? Uh, next, uh, I can find out to you. I believe it might be E3, or is that next week? That that should or be not, the week not, after. Not, not next show, the, week, the show after. Yeah. But I can get the schedule up for you right now. Our next show is we can either do Lord of the Rings or we can do Death of the Com- uh, Death of Comic Books in the nineties. Let's do Lord of the Rings. Okay. The uh... Uh, Lord of the Rings movies, not the books. Uh, ah, crap. Yeah. I'm Lord gonna have to watch Lord. every single one of those behind the scenes film. Yeah. I, that's mm-hmm. all I'm gonna do this week is just sit down and watch. 150 hours of Peter Jackson explaining how he, he got the armpit sweat under Gollum to look correct. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, oh, man, Peter Jackson. Yeah. That dude is interesting. He made a, a good set of movies, and then I think he made Omen, or The Omen, or whatever. So that was a bit of a step down. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. What? I, I don't... I, some people are just so inconsistent. Akiva Goldsman, yeah. I think, is like the guy who wrote I, Robot, and A Beautiful Mind, and Batman and Robin. Yeah. And you're like, what? <laughs> That's, like, impossible. But anyways, we're going to clue up now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, thanks for listening. Yeah, absolutely. And um, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, please, we'll be back here. We're, we're, we air at uh, 1 o'clock every Saturday. That's right. Uh, and keep checking back to our YouTube channel because we're going to get uh, new content up on the go. Uh, soon, um, well, uh, there's a bit of you know. There's one regular listener who's yeah. been like, "You're saying that for weeks." Yeah, <laughs> it's my mom. <laughs> uh, yeah, shout out to my mom. Um, so yeah, so I uh, keep uh, keep uh, listening in. Work. Uh, after, so just a just a quick schedule for you guys. This is a ten to the schedule. So next week we're going to be talking about Lord of the Rings uh, and how you know how it changed movies for the 2000s and how and you know not just the Lord of the Rings movies not the Hobbit I want to say because there's too much to talk about uh, after that is going to be our E3 show and then uh, yeah we'll keep going from there so yeah thanks for listening in guys and uh, we'll see you next time yeah